from Gdansk, Poland. It's the 1997 Polish Open as we continue our coverage of the International Table Tennis Federation Pro Tour on NBC Europe. Gina Red along with Anders Dunstrom, a former coach and player with the national Swedish table tennis team. Men's final just about set to get underway. Number 11, Johnny Wang of Canada facing number 16, Kim Teksu of Korea. A great matchup. I think there could be some exci exciting match and, and both have shown some good form recently with Kim Taksu being in the final in China. Here's a look at the ITTF Pro Circuit standings with eight of 14 events complete. Peng Li Hu of China leads the way. Yes, and as you can saw, there was uh, all the top players is almost there. So we're in game number one right now. Johnny Wang, near side, trailing Love 2. Johnny shows his aggressive style immediately and, and smashes in the four and without any chance for Kim Taksu to return. Kim Taksu, for those of you who've been following the circuit here on NBC Europe, was a finalist at the China. But really, Zoran Primrich, who won that event, really uh, took Kim Taksu to school in that final. He did, and it was an outstanding performance by Primoraj. Let's see now if Kim Taksu can restore some of his pride and come back and, and clinch the Polish Open title. I think uh, Kim Taksu, if he wants to win this match, he has to be the attacking player, not letting Johnny Han dominate him in front of the court like he's doing now. Oh, Johnny Rang really had an opportunity to put it away, but just couldn't close the door. Johnny was trying with something like a drop shot, uh, almost, uh, and, and uh, was uh, hitting the edge of his back. Now there, suddenly he finds himself trailing, 4-3. And now Kim tuck -Soo sees that door creeping open and says, all right, now i got to jump on Johnny Wang very, very quickly. Take advantage, because he's seen Wang come back from Jeff's before. before. Yeah, exactly, and he has to take all the advantages he can to, to, to play his own attacking style. If he lets Johnny dominate in front of the table, I think it will be very tough for Kim Taksu to win this match. Needs 6-3. Four six now. Johnny Wang on serve. Describing the two players in difference in style, you can see that Johnny Wang is using smash, and that is very untraditional now in, in modern table tennis. Because if you look at Kim Taksu, he will he will try to make his uh, point with topspin, and that's the most common attacking style nowadays at, uh, in table tennis. You can also look at the different kind of bats they're using because uh, uh, Kim Taksu is using the traditional uh, backside rubble or pimpelin which makes the, the bat doing a lot of spin while uh, Johnny Huang is, is using the bat with the pimple outs which means that he has more speed in his uh, racket and, and it's very suitable for that kind of attacking style Johnny has. There's two different kind of, of styles here, playing each other. Two very diverse styles, both with one goal in mind. Claim, the 1997 Polish Open to pick up some very, very valuable points. Both already are in the top 16 in the world. Johnny Wang, number 11, Kim tak number 16. Just by making it to the semifinal, they took a good grab at one of those possible positions in Hong Kong. However, a victory would pretty much clink them a spot in the grand final. That's correct, you know. Uh, for both of them, this Polish Open, regardless the results of the final, will boost them in terms of the total standing. So both of them will be taking a, a step towards the finals in Hong Kong. And of course, there's $220,000 US in the tournament, so that's what makes it so appealing to get them. Just a little while. with the, the high balls and, and he's lucky enough to get the last one on the on the edge of the uh, table. There you can see the edge. Very lucky. Very fortunate. Cool. 
fans here in Gdansk having some fun with yeah. a cowbell. I think there was a uh, phone call to somebody. I think looking at the trend so far, I think that will be a scenario which we can recognize during the entire match. The jockey, very close to the table, not giving in anything. And I think that's who's trying to stay a little bit far the table and, and make his top spin and trying to react on, on Johnny's uh, aggressive style. Nice backhand on the line. Just out of Kim Tak Su's reach. Johnny Wang on serve now, trailing 9-11 in the opening set of the 1997 Polish Open Championship match. Good reaction by Johnny Wang, who just couldn't get there in time. There's a beauty from Kim Tak Su. He's playing his foreign topspin straight, and Johnny Wang has no chance. One of the few easier mistakes during this first set by Johnny is missing his first attack. And against a player like Kim Tak Su, you really cannot make that sort of mental error. He's just far too experienced in the ball. Kim Kasu making a point with his backhand, and that's not that usual for a penholder style. Normally there is the weak side of, of backhand, but he was counter-attacking with his backhand nice there, making him the point. And Johnny Wang has not had a lot of success, Anders, on his serve here. He's got to do that against Kim Kasu. He has, and, and I think what Jonah has to look for is a service which gives him the chance to play his game. I don't think we will see a lot of points directly from Johnny on the service, but if he can put a service in place where he can get his uh, game going, that will be crucial for Johnny. $8,000 to today's winner here in the dance. It was quite a nice service, actually. It turned out to be real good side spin on that one, which I think surprised Johnny. And Johnny's slipping quickly. Yeah, he was missing his smash there. Not so happy about that. Oh, what a nice smash. Jim Su just basically went up and led and jumped. Look how fast and how quick this foreign topspin is. It's uh, amazing to see Kim Tak Su when he's hitting his foreign topspin in that kind of, of shape. Beautiful. In reality, he had to close the deal on there because he took himself completely out of the point with that smash. That's right. He's going for the shot. If the opponent has a chance to come back on the table, Kim Tak Su is gone. Johnny Hang is not playing bad. He's missing a few of the shots, though, but the, it's the 1911 to Kim Tak Su, which shows that Kim Tak Su has played a very, very solid first set. And right now is in set point situation. Running to take this opening set of the Polish Open. But Johnny Wang desperately trying to stay alive. And he's making one smash there. I think that's a confidence boost for, for Johnny. He has to get his smash going if he wants to get into this set and match. Fighting off set point after set point, Johnny Wang staying alive. Fights off another set point. That was a nice shot. It's, you can see here in the slow motion, that's what we call a four and flip. You're having to make a shot over the table, which limited your your power. But Johnny showed some great technique there and used all his wrists uh, in the correct way. Kim Tak Su on serve, set point. And it's over. The first set is now over. Kim Tak Su took a little longer than maybe he anticipated to close out the deal on set number one, but he has done exactly that. Second set action on NBC Europe, next.
Yo. Set 2115. Gino Red along with Anders Sundstrom on NBC Europe. And Anders, you can't ask for much more than this from men's final. No, and look at this first rally, which is unbelievable table tennis. And uh, Johnny has to, one way or another, get a hold of Kim Taksu. Look at this. This is very, very good. Top quality from the beginning. Wang, after having lost the first set, has come back with a vengeance now, very, very aggressively, and leads to love. It's some great table tennis here once again, and, and the rally... Unfortunately for Jonathan, ends with a, an error, but uh, he really got Kim Taksu there down far in the court, and that has to be Jonathan's tactic. He has to be aggressive, and at the same time take his chances, and also take the chance on the correct ball when he sees that he can go for the big smash. We have seen some great table tennis on this year's Pro Tour, and if you'd like to keep up to date on what's going on, as well as tune in to here on NBC Europe, don't forget you can also check up Update stats, results, news, everything you want on our website, the premier website, International Table Tennis. You can find us at www.ittf.com. Everything you need to know about International Table Tennis on our homepage. Let's see if Yoni can get uh, his service going. And uh, like I said in the first set, have a service put in place where he can have his game going after the service. I don't think we will see a lot of points for Johnny in the service. Now he's trying a backhand service. So he has obviously thought of some changes here. Gets him a point immediately. Look at the expression on Kim Taksu's face. He's not happy. He was just long. There was no excuse for that. He was just long. He just missed it. And now into the net. And it's a 5-2 lead for Johnny. Looking how John is playing, it's it's very, very good tactics against Pan Holder's hand because he's using both corners very good. And uh, Pan Holders normally wants to play four and all over the court, which means that they're valuable when you move them in, in, in sideways. So John is playing tactically correct. Now it's time for John if he can really make the points on the correct uh, ball. He's taking control. Lead 7-2 here in set number two. Basically got Jim. Kim Tuck couldn't decide which way to go, and by the time he decided, it was too late. Great point by Johnny. He's playing two forehands in, in different corners, and then he finishes off with a smash in the middle in the stomach. Middle of the table. Beautiful. Long. 9-2. Kim Taksu has to find his game again. I think Jon is too dominant at the moment. Uh, Kim Taksu has to need, need to get open with their own foreign top spin like that point. He needs to, to play with his foreign top spin as much as possible to gain points, to make points himself. Anders, that's the coaching you coming out again. It is, and I think uh, that's the way how, how Kim has to play against him. Because if he lets Johnny playing with his match, I think uh, it will be difficult to only defend. Took some quick points, though. So he's back in the set. He did, and he's right back in the set. He's only trailing by three. Now Johnny Wang's got to be a little bit concerned because he had the early lead in the opening set, allowed Kim to come back, and then Kim went on to win the first set. Fantastic play by Kim Taksu, which uh, finishes off by a foreign topspin straight. Look at this beauty. No chance for you. I think Wang was shaking his head more at himself than he was at anything. Thinking, boy, how do I how do I respond to that? That was just a good rally. $1,000 US to our winner. 
here at the 1997 Polish Open. Kentucky with the opening set 21 15. And he trails here in the second set with his picking up ground. Another good rally. It was, and there you can see what I was talking about before. He was playing him from the back and corner all the way down to the forehand corner and forces Kim tak to make a mistake. Even if Kim tak has a very, very good football. Kim tak being moved all over the place and saying, come on, think, think. But credit to Johnny Wang, though. Johnny Wang's doing a good job of moving his opponent all over the place. He's doing a brilliant job, and he's very aggressive. So Kim tak has to take a step back and to even managing to react. And I think that is the scenario right now, that Jon is very aggressive and, and Kim has to more or less follow his pace. Jon is the chief man of every, every point. Now. And that goes into the crowd here in the fans of Gdansk, Poland. Don't see that happen an awful lot. John is still forcing Kim tak to play with his backhand, which is technically correct. Just long. 9-14. Let's see if Kim tak can use his foreign topspin now off the surface. I think if he can do that, he will gain some ground here. Right. Get the right idea, though. What he was trying to do was place it. Keep his opponent out wide going from right to left, but he just got a little bit outside the table. That's one of the most difficult things to do in table tennis, to play straight shots. They are the most effective ones, but uh, it's difficult to, to examine and, and to do, especially when you're on, on the run, like you, you very often are in table tennis. Johnny Wang trying to even sets here in our best of five championship final trails one set to love but leads in set number two on sir Intex did a good job there staying alive he was in big trouble and he knew it yeah, you can see here, once uh, Jonne have uh, Kim tak back far away in the court, he's playing down low to his backhand corner, so he doesn't give Kim tak any chance to respond. Wang is a premier table tennis player in Canada, one of the premier players in the world. He's in one of Korea's best. Close it out. This is a match between two top players in the world. They have been away for a long, long time, and Kim Tak Su has bronze medals at both the Olympics and uh, the World Championship. So, outstanding career. And Jon has also some re really, really good results. Not happy with the result of that rally, but he still leads 19 to 12. Almost the same scenario like the first set, but the, in reverse. Uh, there was Jonny Hang taking a few points in the end, trying to get closer. And it's 15-19 15-19. If you take the, the next ball, then it's a uh, match again. It's nerves coming in and, and things can happen. Important point is. He had to stem the tide and finally he did. He goes to set point here in the second set. Johnny Wang with an opportunity to even the championship final at a set apiece. 
And he needed to stem the tide because he was slipping in a big, big hurry. Yeah, and he made a, a good shot there because Kim tak had his foreign top spin going and, and Johnny was counter-attacking with his uh, foreign smash. That's why Johnny Wang. Taksu will look to see another point. Look at this rally once again. It's, it's amazing how they can do this. And that backhand smash from Kim Taksu is, is brilliant. Back comes Kim Taksu again. Set point Wang. And Wang has done it. He has evened things up, taking set number two, 21 17. We're tied at a set apiece. You're watching coverage of the 1997 men's final at the Polish Open here on NBC Europe. Our coverage continues in a moment. In Amsterdam, you're watching NBC. Bredestein Tires presents high-tech tire safety technology, keeping you in the driver's seat with top-quality manufacturing. The Bredestein production procedure is among the most advanced in the world. Utilizing state-of-the-art production techniques. It begins with the finest raw materials, whose performance claims are carefully monitored and tested. Rubber and steel are combined to form the various... ...cadets and NBC Europe's coverage of the 1997 Polish Open. All right, let's bring the up to date. Kim Tuck Su won the opening set 21-15. Johnny Wang of Canada won set number two 21-17. Set three went back to Kim Tuck Su. It's been a seesaw battle, and we now pick up the action in set four. Johnny Wang leading 14-13. Wang right up again, Anders, moving Kim Duck Su from side to side. And the Kim Duck Su showing great agility and adjusting to the return. What a great rally. What a great rally. This is on the end of the table. And Kim Duck Su defending himself superbly. I finally to give, give in on that point. And look at the sweat dripping off from the fans here in the dance bowl and are just loving this. This is just great table tennis. I would guess the two players have 200 and pounds now. This takes a lot of effort to, to even stand all the way. I can tell you. This is quickly becoming a marathon. We're in a seesaw battle. You can't get more even than this. Kim Tuck Su now leads two sets to one. And we're dead even 14-14 in set number four. The pattern is the same as we saw in the first two sets. Uh, Jonu Hang standing at the table, not moving one inch back, and, and Kim Tak Su trying to defend himself. Oh, that's a beauty again. Smash along the line. And you get the feeling the players are now taking it personally. This is a great match. Great table. Neither one of these players, the unusual thing is, neither one of these likes to ordinarily display emotion. But in this match today, they're doing exactly that. A lot of emotion. Now it's a lot of stake here. I think Kim tak is only six points to, to finishing the title here. So if he can have a very good service game, he might change the match. No, he missed that one. It was, I think it was a touch in the net, and that misjudge uh, was done by Kim Taxi. Those of you who have just joined us late, Gino Red along with Anders Lundstrom, NBC Europe's coverage of the 1997 Polish Open Final. And Johnny Wang of Canada in the white jersey just got jammed by Kim Taxi of Korea. Once again, one of these... Uh, Top spins, which is the trademark of Kim Tak Su. Extremely hard and extremely powerful. Very nice shot. There's one young spectator here in Gdansk who is not enjoying things right now. Other than that, everybody else in this packed house is loving the table tennis. 
Oi, oi, oi. Once again with Yuri, which Kim Tak Su finished off with the foreign top spin again. Look at this. Here it comes. And was that a bullet? That was a bullet. That I can tell you. Having been on the receiving end of some of those enders, I guess you've got some bruising on your chest from some of those shots. Very, very important one. To Kim Tak Su, he's very close to the title now. Kim Tak Su edging ever closer to the 1997 Polish Open title. Just three points and the title and the $8,000 US is his. I think Yonu Hang needs this point now. He needs it desperately to get contact with Kim Tak Su. Long. Got it. And you can see Yoni he's not showing any fear whatsoever. He's going for the points all the time. This finish is off by a foreign smash. I think Kim might have thought that would have caught the edge of the table. He just kind of gave it a glance like, I'm sure that made contact. But he didn't. And his lead now is down to just one point. He's still in control. He's He's up by a single point, and he leads two sets to one. That lead is now gone. With a very nice backhand from uh, Johnny Huang. Straight on the line. No chance for Kim tak -su to respond to that backhand. Johnny Huang really scrapping here. His back was against the wall. Desperately trying to stay alive in this final. And now he is in the driver's seat, leading 1918. Did he reverse things in a hurry? He did, and once again he was doing what we have seen all the match. He's moving Kim Tak Su from side to side. Well, if you're new to table tennis, folks, you tune in at the right time because this is a terrific men's final. If you're a longtime table tennis fan, well, we don't need to tell you how good a final this is. And now Kim Tak Su's in trouble. He was up two sets to one. He was three points away from the championship. Now Johnny Wang is on set point and could possibly even this thing up at two sets apiece. And he's done exactly that. Johnny Wang came back from a huge deficit to win the fourth set. And now we're all even at two sets apiece. The dramatic conclusion of the Polish Open next. You all watch. Let's recap it for you. Johnny Wang, near side of the table of Canada, has just evened things up at two sets apiece. He lost the first set to Kim tak of Korea on the far side, 21-15. Johnny Wang won the second set, 21-17. Kim tak won the third set, 21-13. Then Johnny Wang just won the fourth set, 21-18. We're all even at two apiece. You know, right along with Anders Dunstrom and Anders, what a great final this has been. It's been a great final. It's going to be very interesting to see the final set of this match. Uh, I can't predict the winner at this stage. Two of the top players in the world. Coming in, Johnny Wang ranked number 11 on the pro circuit. Kim Tuck Su ranked number 16. Both, just by having reached the final, will vault up in the overall standing. Yeah, that's, that's very important for both Yone and Kim tak -su to gain points on the Pro Tour standings. A reminder, the top 16 men and top 16 women at the end of our 14 stops on the tour, this is stop number 9 on our tour this year, will qualify for the $220,000 season finale in Hong Kong. Yeah, and Kim tak -su has taken the lead here now for one in this final set, and he can actually extend that lead now if he's doing a very good service game. Up 4-1, you're on your serve. That's a pretty good position to be yeah, in. 5-1. Oh, he's not going to be happy with that. That just deceived him. Yeah, that was a non-force error. That was, uh, he even missed the ball, so... 
you can't be really happy with that. That was a beauty. And Johnny, I think, need these ones now because the 6 2 can easily be 8 2, and then he have lost the contact. So I think he needs at least one of these two points in Kim Tak Su's uh, remaining serves. He made the huge comeback in the fourth set, but you really cannot let yourself fall too far behind somebody of Kim Tak Su's stature and keep expecting to be able to come back. So he's got to keep things tight here early in this final set. Johnny using once again the the length of the table extremely well and have Kim Tak Su running. We're going the distance in this best of five set championship. The opening was there and he just went right to it. Well, uh, Kim Tak Su was trying to play a long service and Johnny anticipated that immediately and just smacked it in. So we've got a change of service. Kim Tetsu leading 6-4, all even two sets apiece. Yanni got that contact he desperately needed. Yeah. And into the net. Looked like he was guessing forehand and saw that. Good rally. Yeah, it's even better than good, I think. It's a tremendous rally. And, and uh, Johnny misses the last match. But look at Kim tak footwork. It's unbelievable. He's so quick in his feet in, in sideways. And even if he's so extremely quick, Johnny sometimes can maneuver him out. But if you want to, to study your footwork, look at Kim tak -Soo. Look at the muscles he has in his, in his legs. His agility is terrific. He can just go from side to side like nothing else. Some guys get a little intimidated when they get moved around that much. Kim Tak Su seems to enjoy moving around that much. Now we're just going to break in this new ball because uh, obviously we just broke the previous game ball. Everything looks to be set to get back underway. Kim Tak Su leading 8 4. The umpire is asking, Are you guys happy with the ball? Yes. Okay, let's get started. going to be some important service now for Johnny. 4-8, he has three service left. He can take all three points. He's in, in contact immediately. He's still playing so aggressively, even the game ball. Can't play the game. That's right. He changed the first point. Important for Johnny Wang. Johnny Wang's come back before in this match. That's really trying to do it again. 5-9. Fifth and deciding seven. Kim Tuck Su seems to be trying to slow things down. I don't think he's, I wouldn't want to say stall, but I think he likes the idea of, of slowing the pace down here. Mm -hmm. so. That's correct, you know. I think he was trying to get some extra seconds there to, to get uh, Jonas rhythm out of the Whatever Kim Tuck Su is doing now, it's working. He leads 10-5. Look at this rally again. It's a fantastic table tennis. And you're not even seeing Kim Tuck Su on the screen. He's so far away behind and can still react and play this foreign top team. Great performance by both, actually. Ten five and non-service in the five fifth and decided game very good opportunity for Kim Taksu to extend that lead and, and get a comfortable zone. Mind you, he had a great opportunity like this in the fourth set and couldn't capitalize on it. That's right. Let's see now what Yoni can respond, if he, if he can respond. Going in the net. 10-6. Yeah, that foreign topspin from Kim Taksu was too aggressive for Yoni. Couldn't keep it down. Net out. Kim 
Sue so is getting to everything. <laughs> Finally puts it into the net. That's got to be so frustrating when your opponent just keeps getting to every smash you try to put away. Yeah, but for the great rally once again, and and uh, Johnny is is the guy who's forcing Kim Tak Soo farther and farther away from the table, and finally that pays off, and that that normally pays off. If you're aggressive, there's no chance that Kim Tak Soo can can win these kind of points. Very rare, anyway. at this point, which Johnny Hang makes a an, an very, very good reaction. Look at this foreign topspin, which Johnny is able to come back to. And that was right tied up against his body. I think that surprised him. It surprised him very much that he thought it was a point. Net. 8-12, Johnny Wang now on serve. We talked about how important it was for Kim Tak Su on his serve. This is far more important now with Johnny Wang. Trailing by four points on his serve, all even at two sets apiece in this final. It will be crucial at least getting 3-2. Uh, hopefully he can get 4-1. There's the first one, 9-12. I have to admire Johnny Hang's technique when he's playing these forehand matches because it seems so natural and so easy. It's a very, very difficult shot to make. It looks very relaxed. For two on his serve. And the pattern repeats itself. Yonmi is the aggressive guy, and Kim Taksu more or less has only to react. So if Yonmi can pick his balls or the right moment in each rally to go for the big smash, he has a chance to come back here. And Kim Taksu is getting frustrated. Yes, at the moment, Yonmi is deciding the pace entirely. Kim Taksu has to do something different now. Yeah. Even things out, but he doesn't. He's going for the flip, but missed it. Well, was you said he wanted to go 3-2. And he was very successful and now just trails by one point, turning over serve to Kim Tatsu. Yeah, he was even making 4-1, so that's immediate contact now. So now it's a wide open again. 13-13. Having gone 4-1 on his serve, now he's up 1-0 on Kim Tatsu's serve. again for on one of these unbelievable oh. rallies. Oh, and Kim Tuck Su long. What a huge turnaround by Johnny Wang. This is maybe the first time ever that Johnny Wang is leading the match. He's 14-13 in the fifth set. He's trailing all the time. Now he's suddenly on top of Kim. That is true. Wang has been coming back the whole match. Moisture on the paddle. Yeah, he's pointing out that uh, he's there is full of sweat on, on the ball and on the rubber, which is uh, devastating if playing table tennis. Because There's some serious action on that ball with that. That's right. There's no chance to play with a wet ball. When the fifth and deciding set, 1997 Polish Open, Kim Tuck Su. A little frustrated with his play. He's allowed Johnny Wang to get right back into this. And now Johnny Wang is, I don't want to say stalling, but is 
slowing down the pace. Kim Taksu is all over the place on this side of the net. Another point to Johnny Wang. And Johnny Wang is now a three love on Kim Taksu's service. Kim Taksu fighting all he can, but uh, once again, it's Yoni who's standing very, very close to the table and dictates the pace in the match. Oh, what a great rally. Oh, Kim Taksu and Johnny Wang all over the place. Fantastic table tennis, which Kim Taksu this time having the edge of Yoni by playing a four and top spin straight. Very, very nice rally. This is a great match. And they're both exhausted. You really can't blame them. This has been a marathon final. It's over one hour now, so it's, it's tough for them, regardless how fit you are. The fans here in Gdansk are tired just watching the match. He was going for the big one. Maybe it was not the right the opportunity to do that. Just right. But he could taste it. And look at this. Can you be more even than this? 15-15 yeah. in the fifth and deciding set. They're tied at two sets of these. Men's final, 1997 Polish Open. And it's here on NBC Europe. Now the title is on stake, for sure. Let's see if Yoni can make uh, the service game equal to this last time. Then has a real good chance. He's taking the first point. Who's <laughs> just shaking his head? I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just did that. Eight thousand dollars to the winner, ladies and gentlemen. Seventeen fifteen. Johnny Wang of Canada leading Kim Tak Su of Korea. Johnny Wang just got cut out of the picture. looked like he slipped, fell over on the table and really had to. Yeah, once again, I think he, this time Johnny thought the point is over, but a very quick reaction by Kim Taksu. The ball back on Johnny's court and he's out of shape. One point set. <laughs> 17 15. <laughs> Kim Taksu seems bewildered by the mistakes he's making here. Oh, he was not happy with that one. After such a long struggle, he's doing an easy mistake. Great opportunity to put it away. Unbelievable. Kim Tatsu, unbelievable. He's only giving him a small, small chance by playing the four and smashing the four and four. And Kim Taksu immediately replies with a four and top spin, which he only couldn't handle. And it's a very, very important state of the match. Boy, Kim Taksu has got to be frustrated for you as an opponent because you, he just keeps coming back at you. So then you get a little too aggressive like Johnny Wang just did there, and you go into the net. Now it's going to be very, very interesting to see what Kim Taksu is doing with his service. And I can tell you he's anxious to get this service underway. Sure. Johnny Wang is kind of making his way down, trying to slow momentum, and Kim Taksu just wants to get to it. Long, oh, and we're dead even again. Brilliant play by both of them. And once again, Kim Taksu is able to play his foreign top in them. And that's the way Kim Taksu has to play, and that's the way he's making his points, by the foreign top spin. Let's see if he gets some space left now after his service to make another foreign top spin. I think that's the way for Kim Taksu to finish the title. Deddy. Two sets apiece. 18-18. Fifth and deciding set in this, the 1997 men's final. The Polish Open. Kim Taksu now two points away from the championship. Johnny Ang thought he had he got him there in the back end corner, but he's doing a mistake, Johnny. Just wide. Long! 
long, and look at that. <laughs> Tipex, you can't believe it. Taping a huge break for Johnny Wang. He's evened it up. We're at 19-19. Now, Gino, now it's even. 19 all in the fifth set. Was that a huge break or what for Johnny Wang catching tape there? He was lucky. He was lucky. Net and on the right side of the table. Got to be good to be lucky. Nice little timing. Yeah, and now nice little timing by calling that time out there. That's for the, right. The moisture yes, right yes, as soon as Kim Taksu was ready to serve. Yes, the right moment when Kim Taksu was ready. <laughs> just the reaction on his face is just fantastic. Championship point now for Johnny Wang. $8,000 U.S. on the line. A point away for Wang. Kim Taksu with service. for Kim Tak Su. No! And it's over. And it's over. Johnny Wang, the 1997 Polish Open champion in dramatic fashion. It took five sets. It was a marathon. These two guys gave it everything. But in the end, Johnny Wang of Canada defeats Kim Tak Su in five sets. With that, Wang is now number four in the rankings. Kim Tak Su vaults all the way up to number five. Nisi Liang of Luxembourg leads our women's singles standings. Wang Cheng of China is presently second right behind him. And that wraps up our coverage of the 1997 Polish Open. Next up for us, coverage of the Lebanon Open. Until next time, for Anders Thunstrom and the entire NBC Europe crew, I'm Gino Retta, saying so long and thanks for joining us.